Brighton six, Wolves nil. And one of the worst performances that I have seen in a long, long time from Wolves. In fact, I can't remember a result against us uh, that big ever. I, I genuinely can't remember us having such a heavy defeat. And it was an absolutely awful performance by Wolverhampton Wanderers today. Um, we are so fortunate that we have picked up as many wins as we have done in recent times. But this away form throughout this season has been awful. Genuinely so, so bad. And that's something that needs to improve uh, from next season. But it's just an, uh, an inexcusable performance from Wolves today. And I'm not normally that sort of person that says put out the refunds or whatever, but with the distance and stuff that fans would have travelled today, you really expected the next 48 hours or so the club to come out with something because that was awful. I genuinely so, so bad. And it was the lack of fight, desire, uh, urgency from Wolves was dreadful. But it probably it probably comes with the starting lineup again, the starting formation. You know, I wasn't actually... I, I put a tweet out. I actually was intrigued by the lineup because we saw Neto come back in. Uh, his first start in a while. Um, but the whole Cunha and Diego Costa situation, we Lopetegui surely, surely knows by now. Both of those have got to play with each other. You cannot start one or another. You can't start a lone striker. And you've just got to be brutally honest to one of the three midfielders in Jao Gomez, Ruben Neves and Mario Lamina and say, unfortunately, one of you has, one of you has got to sit on the bench. Lamina's probably had the best form out of all three of them. Jao Gomez has had good cameos. I thought Neves did all right against Palace as well. He had, I say more than all right. I actually thought he had a good game. But he can't start all three of those because you revert back to a 4-3-3 formation. And that for Wolves, just for whatever reason, with this current squad, does not work. You have to play the 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1 type formation that we have been playing. You've got to get more support up there. Um... And for that reason, it didn't work. But saying that, defensively, we were atrocious. It was, <laughs> it was so bad. The the gaps that were opening up, um, you know, Brighton just one pass and they were through, and it it's just absolutely um, awful. So, you know, it, it's it's a really disappointing uh, performance overall. And normally, I would break it down goal by goal, but. The um, even today, you know, we just gave gave them a lot of the goals, and I don't want to take anything away from Brighton because you know they were very good today and so ruthless in front of goal. Um, you know, and Deserbi had rotated them, and I looked at their lineup and I thought, you know what, we've got a chance here, especially with our midfield three, we might have a chance. But it was the the complete opposite today, um, and I, I thought, you know what, Joe saw again had a really poor game. That guy, his distribution, the way he panics on the ball. And maybe I'm being a little bit harsh. I thought he could have stopped a couple of those goals today. I thought a bit, slightly better positioning and so on. You know, there were some great strikes on Brighton. I can't take that away from them. But a couple of the, the moments where I think he should have stopped them. The, I think it was the last goal, goal number six, was the one where he passes it straight into, um, into pressure and uh, gets caught out by a chip over the top of him. But it was... Um, yeah, Nunes, I thought, even before his position change, which we'll talk about in a second, I thought he dropped a, a, a very poor performance. Um, just a lack of possession. Wolves, it, it was like 11 players. Wolves put out 11 players out there, never spoken to each other before, never played with each other before because it was a really poor, poor performance. And obviously, Smelo comes off injured. We see Mateus Nunes play uh, right back for the, the rest of the second half. Um, and sort of did what he could, I suppose. But going forward, there was nothing whatsoever. And it was, if someone had shown, if I didn't know those two teams and someone had shown me that match and said, this is a Premier League team versus a non-league team in the FA Cup, I would have believed you. Because that's how poor Wolves were today and how easy Brighton found it to, to split us open. I thought Pedro Neto, you know, to try and put some sort of minor positive spin on it. I thought he had a couple of decent, half decent spells. And I thought with better players around him uh, today, we could have made things happen. I think, I think it was their second or third goal where Neto had broken through and the referee had stopped play because there was a little bit of a scuffle between um, one of the defenders and Diego Costa. 
Uh, but Neto had put himself in some in a fantastic space, and I think if the referee had stopped, allowed that game to go on and seen what happened, because if Neto put that ball in the back of the net, you could have checked what happened on VAR. But instead, he stops the game when we're through on goal. Um, but obviously, that one chance didn't didn't shape the rest of the afternoon. Really, it's I don't really know what else to say about that Wolves performance, and other than that, it was absolute garbage. Um, and I'm, I'll be intrigued. Obviously, I'm doing this right after the final whistle. I'm going to be really intrigued to see what the players and obviously Lopetegui come out with. Um, but we're back at home next week. You would hope there'll be some sort of reaction. But it's against Villa, who are in top form themselves. It's going to be a big game for Wolves. Um, and what, what changes can he make? For me, if you're going to be ultra-ruthless, do you drop Jose Sarr? Um, Nunes, I thought, obviously, even when he played as, as a wide player, was poor. Um, Wolves have got to go back with Cunha and Costa. They have to do that. Um, possibly Neto. Huang, again, had one or two moments today uh, where he looked okay. But he's got to strip that squad back, go back to the basics. Because after today, it's a, it's, I, I don't know what else to say. Wolves, very fortunate to get the points in that they have done already. But we really need to knuckle down because this seems to happen the last two or three years where Wolves have an absolutely disastrous end to the season. Between now and the end of the season, you want to get a bit of momentum. You want to get the morale high, the confidence high, going into a new campaign so we can just go for it in the summer and go for it at the start of next season. But for whatever reason, Bruno Lage had the issue. I think uh, Nuno had a similar sort of issue um, as well before, you know, after COVID, we had the, a disastrous end to the campaign that ultimately cost us European football. Um, so, yeah, Lopetegui's got to get something right. But uh, disaster for Wolves today. Let's just try and forget about it. Brighton 6, Wolves nil. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you caught the game. And I'll catch you guys very soon.